So what we are talking about is how living psychedelics seem to have a voice that once you take them, you internalize and it, you carry it with you. So people yeah. that Kia um, does sort of integration and therapy with. Yeah, and I think like it's interesting with yellow since I, I do follow like the chakra system and the colors and and like those vocal points and yellow is like ego so it's your solar plexus so I always think in terms of like okay when I put my yellow glasses on I'm helping heal my ego and that's you know this is cool because that's with the, like you know your sense of sight is already enhanced and you're already picking up like energies outside of you so it is it's nice to have like that shield I, I normally do one-to-one -one sessions with the with the clients who's you know I have a with Ayahuasca. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. That's yeah. so cool. Holy shit, man. That's cool. Yeah, Dream Catcher <sighs> and Drum were very nice. Depending on what your needs are, like a lot of traditional use, they just take a bite in the morning, like break off like that much and just take a bite of that. And I had bought dried form and then made it into a tea and I do like a teaspoon. I freeze them in cubes about a teaspoon size, except for my attitude and my ability to uh, get over all the shit that happens all the time anymore. I just have a question about the cups. So you start with 250 mils and when you end after the 20 minutes or 30 minutes, you should have 250 mils? Well, I mean, Still? it's... You'll lose water, so you always add to bring it back up to a cup or 250 mils to create okay. that consistency every I time. Just like most people have gone foraging in their life, at least yeah. one. Like a lot of people go every year and it's a very, um, very big thing. Um, so of course I, since I was a kid, but it was always, I was always told don't touch them. They're very poisonous. But I'm just I'm getting tired of trying to help people on social media and be like, look, it's not deadly. You can touch it. It's, you know, not yeah. even highly toxic or even highly like it's all overstated. And then people are like, well, you know, I would never do that. And you're taking your life into your hands. You shouldn't tell people that. And even people that should know better. Like, I don't know. What's up, Natalia? I wanted to ask about uh, how when you pick them, how do you know they're not bad ones? If if I'm finding red ones with the dots, or sometimes I can find them without dots, just beautiful red cup, does it mean that I could take well, it? I wouldn't take it. Even though I feel very sure about it. Yes. And if I'm here with it, but that could be either a flavorful <laughs> bottle with us and plugged it in, in the in the room and had full and it was dehydrating and it was getting in the air and I just I knew I was in for a crazy night but like I could just taste it in the air this fun. is amazing yeah it's it's, it's it's part of the fun of working with them I was wondering about that because I tried um I bought a topical cream from an herbalist who makes them uh locally and I was I I've, I've been like dosing and, and like eating the for some time now but it was the first time I tried um through the skin and I put it on in the evening on my jaw which was hurting me and I had such intense dreams mm. you don't mm. add the lemon and store it you do it yeah, you, you add the lemon you, before you the dose as you use it mm -hmm. okay okay I'll, I'll try that um whoops it's it's not this one's not <laughs> sterile anymore I it's like a, it's a dropper um and these are great and I just use a brand new one each time. I still give it a little bit of cleaning and I put it right down the center. Don't touch anything. So I don't want my tea going bad. And you can get what a bag What are you doing of that with? With your, with the bottles? 